Hey folks, hope you're well, Zito here. Uh, and this week I wanna talk about my interior situation uh, for the cabin and stuff. As the title essentially implies and stuff, I kind of screwed up. And I screwed up in essentially using Luan plywood, quarter inch Luan plywood for my interiors. Um, looking at this, this is actually the inspo for what I was preliminarily going for and things like that. However, uh, it was just not really necessarily to my liking and I'll get to that. First and foremost, it was really tough, heavy, and messy to put in place. It comes as four by eight sheets, and you know, after having returned my Ryobi Airstrike tool uh, and not having a compressor and nailer with me, trying to lug it up by myself uh, and then having hammer and nails at the same time just honestly wasn't working. So I'd have to screw in a corner, kind of have it in place, and, and even that was a challenge. Uh, just lugging it up to the second floor, uh, full 4x8 sheets was a mega challenge too. And so, yeah, um, that was challenging. And then after that, once I actually got a substantial part of the wall up, uh, when you take a look at it, the seams are almost just too apparent. Um, having strapping behind it and even having the strapping in between things, I just felt like it wasn't really a clean enough look for me. And so I think I'm gonna take it down. Uh, it's kind of taxing on me in terms of budget and things like that, but you know what? This is my baby and I'm gonna, you know, try and make it, make sure I'm happy with it and stuff like that. I think I'm eventually gonna go with tongue and groove uh, for the inside. However, I am being told that uh, to not put it up until the summertime when the relative humidity is a bit higher and uh, the wood's able to swell a little bit more, also have it acclimatized to the cabin during those temperatures and things like that. So, might have to hold off on the interior for a bit, um, still sussing that out, but uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. So next up, we can talk about something a little more fun, and that's the climbing wall. Uh, the climbing wall is essentially uh, two four by eight sheets of three quarter plywood that I picked up from Home Depot. I had them cut in half so that they would fit in my car essentially. And then from there, um, I kind of did a quick Google search, found that this was the particular pattern uh, that I should probably have for all the holes and things like that. Uh, and so, you know, after verifying with friends, they confirmed that, that was correct, drilled in half inch holes. But however, I drilled those half inch holes into this grid that I came up with based on that particular drawing. I had made the measurements with measuring tape, ended up chalk lining it all down and then of course drilling the holes. With those drilled, uh, with the kit that I bought from Mech, I actually bought the 105 piece kit from uh, Mech and stuff like that, Network Equipment Co-op. I ended up using the T-nuts, banging the T-nuts uh, from that particular kit into all, this, into all the holes and stuff like that and there were enough of those, so that was perfect. And basically, you know, after having done that for all my sheets, after having cut it perfectly for, for my lower wall and then all the sections above that, uh, I basically had it all ready and basically just carted to the site. Once I got to the site, busted it out, uh, was able to screw it to the rafters, and as you'll see there, uh, we have the extra rafters. Uh, they're essentially 12 inch on centers for the climbing wall uh, that we built in originally and stuff like that. So I was able to drill those in uh, all throughout the sheets of plywood and essentially we had uh, a wall that was ready to take on holds. From there, I uh, took the holds out of the packages, uh, set various routes as best as I could. I'm not an expert at this at all. I tried to set easy-ish routes, but still somewhat kind of found that, you know, if I'm setting routes based on colors and things like that, I was still somewhat limited in the pieces that I had. Also with the 60 some odd degree pitch of the roof, it was actually honestly a quite challenging uh, roof to, to, kinda, to kinda get up to the loft and stuff still. I ended up making it up, uh, but you know, kinda also alternating and switching some uh, colors and stuff. So I haven't necessarily finished her out yet, but again, I think a lot of that's uh, predecessed on my inability to set these routes first. So much more to come there. I might also pick up a few additional holds uh, and also a much easier jug with a hold, uh, uh, with a hole cutout kind of system too, so that you know you can really scale up easily. Uh, it's not going to be the only way up. I think I'm also going to eventually do a, a rope ladder and stuff like that, and you know you can make it up that way as well and stuff. So 
So yeah, that was honestly really fun and that ended up turning out all right. Uh, so the whole weekend there uh, wasn't a complete fail or anything like that. I did end up having some success there, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Uh, I think the TNG is gonna go, the Tongue and Groove Pine is gonna go really well around that wall. Uh, and I think it's gonna be awesome. So now I just gotta cook up what I'm gonna do next and stuff. I might take a quick break. I've got a fun project coming up, hopefully with my friend Nick Anger. Uh, going out to Vermont to see him this weekend, which is going to be amazing. Um, his work's incredible. Um, so, yeah, hopefully peace there and look forward to that. Uh, and, yeah, more to come on the cabin soon enough. <laughs> Thanks a lot and uh, peace. Take care.